All right, welcome back to Two Hours in a Trench Coat. I'm Min Hart, and today, welcome to our new series, new game. Welcome to the Dragon Age Two. So recently, Microsoft made Dragon Age Two backwards compatible on the Xbox One. So now, everyone who didn't get to play it on Xbox 360 or no longer owns an Xbox 360 can now play it on the Xbox One. And I'm really excited. I've actually never, I'm pretty sure I've said before, but I've actually never played through Dragon Age 2. I've gotten, I've played a little bit of it just so I can find some ground, figure out what's going on and what the differences is from just a base level of the game. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. I don't even want to say I completed Act 1, because I know I didn't complete Act 1, but I think I got all of the companions. So, if anything, I know how to do- I know how to do some things, but some other things are lost to me. But Dragon Age 2 is also one of those games where it's like, you've heard many things about it, and you know about what's going on, and the story outline, but you don't know when and how it's gonna happen. One thing I'm also kind of worried about is just my story being brought over. So I was fiddling with Dragon Age Keep and for some strange reason, the Dragon Age Origin servers are down. Some people, like, no one can figure out if it, whose end it's actually on. I'm not gonna say any names, I'm not gonna point any fingers. <laughs> so I'm just gonna say, I don't know whose end it's actually on. I don't know if it's on my end. I moved from my Xbox One to my Xbox One S when I upgraded and the servers no longer worked. So when it came time to port everything over or make sure everything was in the keep, the gameplay from Dragon Age Origins wasn't in there because the servers were down. So from what I know, and from what I've gathered, Dragon Age 2 and Dragon Age Inquisition still work in the keep. But Dragon Age Origins and the Lost Court, which was like a text-based kind of game, that kind of, not kind of, actually no, kind of, because I heard some people were trying to save it or replicate it in some way. It doesn't exist in the Dragon Age keep anymore. So if that was something that you needed to do, or wanted to do, or were doing, and you don't know why it's not there anymore, then... Sorry, that's your little update that it's no longer- that they took it down, I'm pretty sure recently from when I'm recording this. I think it was last week, on the 14th or something. So, if anything, let's get started. A thing that is also happening, so I- I didn't move recently, but I kind of did move recently, and just the events that happened, I wasn't able- I'm not- fully unpacked yet so all of my games are out i own the disc version of dragon age 2 but right now i'm using the ea play copy of it so it's strictly online it's yeah it's strictly online there's a loading error with the cutscenes, so usually i'll try and get around that if i can but a way out of that has just been to skip dialogue i'm gonna try my best to Preserve as many of the cutscenes and the dialogue as I can while I scavenge for my disc and see if that would stop it from doing that. But if you see a little loading, and then it not loading anymore, then there you go. Oh my gosh, I think at the bottom of the screen it just said Mass Effect 3 Demo. <laughs> okay. And then before we get started, I do have some of the downloadable content. The only DLC I have is the Legacy DLC. I do not have Mark of the Assassin, and I don't have... I think it's Exiled Prince. That may be, that may be me just mix, mixing that up with something else. But it's the one for the, the companion Sebastian. I do not have that one. It was buggy when I was trying to download it, and then thankfully I got a refund for it, because it wasn't working and it wasn't downloading properly. So don't, I'm saying don't expect those, but do expect me to play through the legacy one. All right, so we'll click new game and we'll get started.
All right, so we have, we're obviously gonna play as a female cause I am a female. So I'm going to play as a female. We got our three classes. Let's look and see. We have the female mage. Mages command arcane spells and hurl bolts of magic from their staffs. Despite their immense power, mages are vulnerable when their allies or whenever, oh, their allies fall or whenever enemy troops attack them directly. Female warrior. Warriors are masters of melee combat. They heft an enormous two-handed blade of an almost two-handed weapon that strikes several foes at once. Other pair others pair a one-handed weapon with a shield that doubles as a bludgeon. Rogues can wield a dagger in each hand or rain arrows from a distance. They are practically adept at tearing down individual opponents and are the only class that can pick locks or disarm traps. Okay, so from the jump, I would usually play as a rogue. If it's any RPG setting, it's most likely a rogue for the simple fact that I like being able to pick locks. That is something that is very important, especially early on when you don't have access to a rogue. Because then it gets to be like, oh, now I have to make sure I have a rogue in my party. And you should always make sure your party is like, even in the best sense. So a mage, a warrior, and then yourself, who is either a mage, a warrior, or a rogue. Yeah, mage, warrior, or rogue, and then yourself, who is one of the three. So yeah, mage. I love mage class in Dragon Age series. They're really fun and diverse. I like it. All right. Gentler invitations. <clears throat> I am Cassandra Pentecost, seeker of the Chantry. <laughs> and just uh, what are you seeking? The champion. <clears throat> Which one? You know exactly why I'm here. Oof. Time to start talking, dwarf. They tell me you're good at it. <laughs> What do you want to know? Everything. Start at the beginning. Oh man, she hit him with a book though. Dang. We will have to fight them sooner or later. Then we make our stand here. Prepare yourself. Looks like it's an introduction to the combat mechanic. It's a little different than Dragon Age Origins, but I don't know if it's too separated. this up forever all right so we have the three choices in this I don't have to voice anyone anymore since my warden was completely mute and speaking only through psychic means and sign language 
Hawk, on the other hand, is voice. So we have our three choices. The only thing that's going to really get on my nerves real quick is just, you know, when the choices don't actually say what they mean, it's just, it's, that's going to be my little hiccup from here on out. But we'll try our best. If anything, I want to be a good person, so I guess we're going to stick more with the blue, and then sometimes we can be sarcastic, which is the purple, and then there's red, which is like, yo, no, absolutely not. So for right now, we're just going to stick with kind of I'm right beside you. We'll make it through this together. Here they come. Shall I give them a taste of my blade? Uh, no, we'll take it from here. Allow me. Oh, dang. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> a dragon? And a dragon. Okay. Bullshit. That's not what really happened. <laughs> Does that not, not the story it? you've heard, Seeker? I'm not interested in stories. I came to hear the truth. Well, what makes you think I know the truth? Don't lie to me! You knew her even before she became the champion. Even if I did, I don't know where she is now. Do you have any idea what's at stake here? Let me guess. Your precious chantries fall into pieces and put the entire world on the brink of war. And you need the one person who could help you put it back together. The champion was at the heart of it when it all began. If you can't point me to her, tell me everything you know. You aren't worried I'll just make it up as I go? Not at all. You'll need to hear the whole story. Okay, so it's like... The story that he's telling and then the story that we're going through seems to be happening at the same time. Even if they don't actually run side by side. Okay, so... In this, they give you the default face for the character. Okay, they are blue. I thought they were green for a second. But the only thing is you can't edit this face, and then they have the face with the blood marking, but you also cannot edit that face, and the blood marking does not show up on any of the other faces, so that's actually quite disappointing. No, we'll just... I'll see you on the other side when I finish editing my character? Yeah. Minerva. Okay, yeah. And then, oh, okay, so I guess wrote import from Origins. You say, okay, cool. So then we can import from Origins if it's on this console. Alright, cool, 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 cool. That's actually really nice. Man, I have so many hours put in here. I haven't touched that one since 2017. Oh, man. Alright. So we're going to play as Chrysanthi. That's the world save. And then we're going to go for coordination. Congratulations, your save game imported successfully. Nice, that's what I like to hear. 
and this is our girl. So I have the tattoo in red because I kind of wanted it to be a blood writing kind of thing, like how she hit, not a blood writing kind of thing, but like that marking that they put over their nose. I kind of wanted it to be like that, but something, you can't have that. Something intricate, pretty, I guess. I want to say simple, but that's definitely not simple at all. But yeah, so this is our girl, Minerva. Ooh, difficulty, right. Go for normal, hard, or nightmare. I kind of want to just deliver the story as is. I feel like that's kind of what I want to do right now. I haven't been through the story at all. So I think I want to go for casual. And if I, if I think it may be too easy for me, then I'll switch to normal. But either way, I'm not going for hard difficulty or nor or nightmare difficulty achievement. So I won't have to worry about switching and whatnot and going to nightmare difficulty and whatnot. So just, just for now, I'm staying on casual difficulty for now. All right, cool. Let's get started. The blight has been unleashed on Ferelden. Dark spawn poured out of the wilds, clashing against the army at the ruins of Ostagar. The battle was a disaster. King Kaelin mm. died on the field with his men, betrayed by his most trusted general. Unopposed, the horde marched on the village of Lothering. The village burned. And many innocents were slaughtered. The champion's family barely escaped in time. Oh, we're in Lothering. That's interesting. I think that's all of them. For the moment, make us save us. We've lost it all. Everything your father and I built. Alright, so we're met with the same kind of choices, but now we have like... I want to say an olive branch. That's definitely not what's going on. That's definitely not what that is. But either way, it's the good dialogue. So we're going to stick with the good dialogue as much as we can. Maybe we'll sprinkle on a bit of the sarcastic here and there, because I like sarcastic dialogue. So we'll go with the, the, the olive branch dialogue for now. I know how much Lothering meant to you, but we have to move. Yes, you're right. We should have run sooner. Why did we wait so long? Why are you looking at me? I've been running since Ostagar. Yeah, if anything, we really need to get out of here. Listen, you two. The Darkspawn could be on us any minute. Please, listen to your sister. Then let's go. Lead on. All right, Ex ignore the new quest. That's from the be careful. Park Cliffs and everything. That's just from the DLCs that I've downloaded. One of them is actually the one that we're on. <laughs> Okay, so for introductory, oh wow, their sprites didn't change. In the lower left half of the screen, it shows how they're actually supposed to look, or how they actually look in the base game. So we have our sister, Bethany. So much destruction. And she is also a mage, and then we have our brother, Carver. Stay close. And our mother, Leandra. And Bethany and Carver are twins. All right, so that's a little something to note. Freeman staff, cool, we'll take it with us. Anything else? No? All right, let's keep moving. Oh, we have a level up. Okay, we'll deal with that right now then. All right, so the level up is different from what I remember. Oh, and I totally forgot something. Okay, so Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age 2 differ weapon wise 
as all the weapons aren't fair game. Because even in Dragon Age Origins, some of the weapons were you could use them no matter what class you were at. You would, you most likely wouldn't use them, but they were there nonetheless. I think I'm trying to remember if a warrior could use a bow, but I don't remember if I saw that or not. Either way. The weapons were kind of fair game. There was a mage staff that any class could use, and it was really cool. But with Dragon Age 2, every class has set weapons, and they cannot that they cannot divert from it. What that means is, even if you find a cool thing and you think that a rogue might be able to use it, no, that's not a thing anymore, which is kind of upsetting. And then with the level up sequence, so everything is important in some way. So constitution is always important because that's your health. And then there's willpower, which kind of goes with every character. So warrior classes and rogue classes, those would be stamina. And then willpower for mages will be mana, regeneration, everything. If a mage, you wouldn't really have to worry about cunning and dexterity or strength. You just have to worry about magic. But no, not anymore, because strength gives you fortitude, and strength increases damage and attack values for warriors. For all classes, it increases fortitude, which measures resistance to effects like being knocked back or set aflame. And dexterity, which increases your critical chance, so dexterity increases damage and attack values for rogues, still. But for all classes, it increases the likelihood of landing a critical hit. Magic. Magic increases damage and attack values for mages. For all classes, it increases magic resistance, which absorbs a proportion of damage from magical attacks and affects the duration of hostile magical effects. Then there's cunning. Cunning increases defense for all classes as well as the amount of damage inflicted by a critical hit. Cunning also determines rogue's aptitude for picking locks and disarming traps, with difficulty thresholds every 10 points. Willpower. Willpower increases the size of a mana pool for mages, or the man or the stamina pool for warriors and rogues. Constitution increases maximum health for all classes. So, everything is important, which means it kind of makes it difficult to spread out your skill points at first. So, just trying to figure out what kind of build you want while not wasting your points in things that aren't really necessary or things that you don't really think that you'll need. It's kind of... I only dabble a little bit with the... Uh, with the level up. So it's a little fresh in my mind. But not so much so where I have a full understanding of... of it yeah so of it so for right now i think for basic reasons we're just going to do magic and we'll do willpower and do constitution because having high constitution one is just that just seems okay to me all right so we have a level up i kind of really want to get crushing prison but i don't think i can get it at the moment i can't see behind the level up thing i know you're trying to tell me a level up but i can't and I would really like to see what level I have to be. No? Thank you. Alright, so points required in Arcane. So this is Arcane. Hold oh, on, before we start. So there's... I think six. And then the last one is us. Yeah, the last one's Hawk. But we can always summon our dog. We have a dog we can summon. Um, Dang, I didn't have to go around. I could have just... Wow, okay. Alright. We have the Elemental cast, which is just... Fire and Ice, even though there's more elements. Alright, so there's Fire and Ice, which is just Cone of Cold, Fireball Spells, and whatnot. There's Primal, which is the... I want to say Chain Lightning is in here. And then there's Rock Armor, Petrify. Yeah, there's Chain Lightning, Tempest, which is the Cloud of Storms and Lightning and everything. And there's some extra things. So there's Galvanism, which is new. Petrify isn't really new. The rock armor, like how Wen would always do whenever we'd enter a thing. And these are primal um, magic. So it has command over the earth and sky. Then we have our spirit. It's less... So there's not a lot of perks. Like, 
Dragon Age Origins is kind of more toned down, but it's really manageable where you don't have to worry about, oh, I didn't get anything into spirit. I hope that won't affect me in any way. But it should be okay. And then we have spirit magic. So it's walking bomb and everything. So yeah, spirit mastery, death siphon, dispel magic. I kind of want to get dispel magic. Yeah. Transmutation. Yeah, I really want to get dispel magic. I don't remember if we have anyone that would count as being a Templar or being of Templar class. But having Dispel Magic while being a mage is actually really helpful. Uh, we have the Arcane Magic, which I really want to get into. Elemental Weapons, so I think Frosting Your Weapons. Elemental Power across the entire party. Enchanting Weapons and Allies and give them additional elemental damage, yeah. Uh, arcane shield, barriers, I don't think fade shrouds, no. No arcane fortress, but crushing prison is just the best. It's the absolute best. It paralyzes and it inflicts damage. Psh, man, I love it. Then we've got entropy. Okay, so that's the hexes, putting people to sleep. Gathering really on putting people to sleep. Coma. Dear heaven, coma is new. Horror and despair. I think horror really goes one in one in hand with um sleep. So if you're gonna go for that, you would really want to make sure you have that. And another interesting thing is I don't know if you have to have both, both sleep and misdirection, or both horror and hex of torment in order to unlock the next part. So for the misdirection hex, I can't remember if that's a thing, so I'll just keep my eye out for it. Um, we have recreation magic, of course, which I think I'm going to go for, because heal is always something. It always helps. We have glyphs of repulsion, we have haste that I never use, heroic aura, aura, valiant aura, glyphs of perilous. Oh, glyphs of oh my god, glyphs of binding, so many glyphs. Yeah, I think I want to go for, well, what do we have? We only have Mind Blast, which is okay, but it's not, it's not anything, it's not really anything. So I guess for right now we'll go for heal. I don't know how many poluses we have, or I don't think they call them poluses anymore, I think they call them potions. I don't know how many potions we have. Our inventory, yes, I know. We got a staff earlier though, so I'll check that out. Uh, fire damage, restrictions, mage, uh, seven per second. All right, I'll well, we'll just keep it the way it is. Ooh, she's got a fire staff as well. It's restricted to her. So most things in this game is restricted to a certain character, and that is something that I don't really like. Cause I like her outfit, and I trade her outfit with my outfit at any given second. It's so cute. Oh, look at it. It's all well put together. Chainmail, whatnot. She's got a little bandana around her neck. It's so cute. And there's Carver. His outfit's okay. His boots are nice, though, so I'll give him that. Alright, enough roasting our family members. Wait, where are we going? Good question. Away from the Darkspawn, where else? And then where? We can't just wander aimlessly. Well, thank you, we gotta stick together. Wherever we go, what's important is that we don't separate. We can go to Kirkwall. Kirkwall? Are you sure that's wise? There's a lot of Templars in Kirkwall, Mother. I know that. But we still have family there. And an estate. Oh, right, we're apostates. <sighs> then we need to get to Guarin and take ship. If we survive that long, I'll just be happy to get out of here. Here we go! Now you fall! Go down! Oh wow, that took literally nothing.
She's cool. They will not have you. Not while I breathe. It worse. Apostate, keep your distance. Wow. The maker has a sense of humor. <laughs> Darkspawn and now a Templar. I thought they all abandoned Lothering. The spawn are clear in their intent, but a mage is always unknown. The order dictates. Wesley. The order dictates. They saved us. The Maker understands. Of course. I am Aveline Valen. This is my husband, Sir Wesley. We can hate each other when we're safe from the Horde. Wow. I'd rather not hate you? You seem really cool. Yeah, why are they out here? A strange time to be hunting apostates. His fellows left with the Chantry priests. I was traveling to Denerim on business for the Order, but I had to turn south when I heard of Ostagar. Bad luck and judgment brought us together here before the attack. The nice Templar has been convinced to postpone his hunt for illegal mages. So let's not dwell upon it, shall we? Wise girl. Not really important. If anything, can he keep up? Yeah, because he's really injured. Can he keep up? How bad is that wound? I think my sword arms are lost, even with healing. Then you will have mine, as always. For now, we move with you. North is cut off. We barely escaped the main body of the Horde. Then we're trapped. The wilds are to the south. That's no way out. We have no choice. The Darkspawn have us fenced in. We go south. Is he okay? He's kind of... Alright, let's pick this up. Potions and everything. Oh, right. Before we go, let's deal with these lava logs. Get ready! Oh, oh we have some behind us. Go down! I guess Let's we're okay now. Never mind. <laughs> Dead refugee, valerian potions, stamina drought. Alright, so we can do quick potion or quick mana potion. That is so helpful. I wish that was a bit man. And there was no stamina potion in the last game, so that's a good... That's good as well. Yeah, now they have that. That's nice. I don't... Hmm. What? Okay, so potions. Poisons and bombs. Activated spells and talents. Full position. Quick heal. Move to point. Sustained spells and talents. And then that's, we only have one, which is to summon our Mabari. Actually, we'll do that now. Cool, come on, let's go. We've got a full party of people and a dog. That was a lot of blood. Was that always in the ground or was that mine just now from being shot?
All right. Be ready for anything. I'm sure there's more trouble to come. I'm not sure we can survive much more of this. Did you all have to stand on this dead refugee? One that is so disrespectful. Really, Wesley? Really, Ma? All right. Two health potions. I'll take that. And some rubble with a belt in it. Actually, let's slap that on right now. Plus two mana and stamina regeneration rate. Alright, cool. We will do that. That is nice. Another dead refugee, Lyrian potion, stamina. Now we fight! Oh, there's something. Oh, what is the thing in the apron? That's how we did it back in Ferelden. We're still in Ferelden. Right, another level up. We must press towards the wild. Right, right, right. So we've got to keep moving. But I want to make sure that I pick up everything. Don't know what kind of fight we're heading into. Dark spawn armor fragments. Sure, I guess we'll take those. So it's automatically linked as a trash item. So, oh man. Oh shit. Not going to happen. Use a rogue with some good skills. Oh, oh, oh. So I can't unlock that chest. Because I don't have a rogue in this party. At all. This is the most uneven party I've ever had. That's probably wrong. But from, to my knowledge. This is the most uneven party I've ever had. Oh, this looks familiar. That's not good. Maker, give me strength. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Yo, that's unfair. Get ready. Now you fall. for running into that. Bethany. No. Wake up. Not Bethany. The battle's over. We're fine. I'm sorry, mistress. Your daughter is gone. No. These things will not take Bethany. Shoot, this one's really- I don't want to be rude and be like, yo, pull yourself together, because- I mean, like, we just lost a sibling, she just lost a daughter. And then, while well, this is- It's not like it's no time no more, because then it's just- God. But if, maybe she doesn't want to hear that she died bravely. Alright, we're gonna choose the first one, that she died bravely. Bethany risked her life to save us. I don't want a hero. I want my daughter. How could you let her charge off like that? Oh, my poor little girl. My it's sweetheart. hardly my fault. If we stand here weeping, the Darkspawn will take the rest of us too. Allow me to commend your daughter's soul to the Maker, Mistress. Ashes we were, and ashes we become. Make her give this young woman a place at your side. 
Let us take comfort in the peace she has found in eternity. I will never forget you, Bethany. Yeah, for right now, I think, I think that's all we can do for her. Our lives are more valuable to her than our prayers. Let's go. Flames. We're too late. Flame. That's a new one. Looks like we fight. Be ready. No end to them. Flemeth? Of course it's Flemeth. Okay, but what are you wearing? Cause that's actually really nice. And I I kinda want that outfit too. Well, well. What have we here? Oop, is he okay? Oh right, he was injured. It used to be we never right. got visitors to the wild. But now it seems they arrive in hordes. Okay, one. Yes, nice trick. But also, thank you for saving us. I don't know what we would have done if you hadn't arrived. I do. You would have perished. You still may. If you wish to flee the Darkspawn, you should know you are heading in the wrong direction. So you're just going to leave us here? And why not? I spotted a most curious sight. A mighty ogre vanquished. Who could perform such a feat? But now my curiosity is sated and you are safe for the moment. Is that not enough? Uh, yeah, we need to get out of here. We won't be able to get through the Darkspawn on our own. They are everywhere, or soon will be. Where is it you plan to run to, hmm? We're going to Kirkwall, in the Free Marches. Kirkwall? My, but that is quite the voyage you plan. So far, simply to flee the Darkspawn. Oh? Hmm. We have family? Oh yeah, we have family there. Our home is gone and we have nowhere else to go. I see. Hurtled into the chaos, you fight, and the world will shake before you. Is it fate or chance? I can never decide. It appears fortune smiles on us both today. I may be able to help you yet. Well, we could use the help. Anything you could do for us would be appreciated. Should we even trust her? We don't even know what she is. I know what she is. The Witch of the Wilds. Some call me that. Also Flemeth. Asha Belinar. An old hag who talks too much. <laughs> Does it matter? I offer you this. I will get your group past the Horde, in exchange for a simple delivery to a place not far out of your way. Would you do this for a Witch of the Wilds?
Yeah, before I agree, what does the rest of you think? Should we trust her? Wesley is injured. We'll never escape the dark spawn. If you need to, leave me behind. No. Oh, he does not look right. You out if I had to, and I meant it. Is he okay? Yeah, what will we be facing? How much trouble will this delivery be exactly? About as much trouble as my saving your lives, not five minutes ago. Okay, but, um, details, please. That's a lot to ask without telling us what this involves. It's nothing more dangerous than one so capable can handle. Fine, alright, I'll accept. We don't have much choice. We never do. There is a clan of Dalish elves near the city of Kirkwall. Deliver this amulet to their keeper, Marathari. Do as she asks with it, and any debt between us is paid in full. Before I take you anywhere, however, there is another matter. <coughs> no, leave him alone. What has been done to your man is within his blood already. You lie! She's right, Aveline. I can feel the corruption inside me. Oh, that's why he looked weird to me. He's tainted, isn't he? Got darkspawn blood in him. What are you talking about? From the darkspawn. All that blood. I knew when it happened. And how much time before you? Not long now, if I am any judge. Is there any way to help them? There must be something we can do. The only cure I know of is to become a Grey Warden. And they all died at Ostagar. Not all, but the last are now beyond your reach. Right, we were just leaving Lothar when all this started. Aveline, listen to me. You can't ask me this. I won't. Please. The corruption is a slow death. I can't. I mean, I don't want to just go out and be like step all over her and say I'm gonna do it but I will leave it up to her he's your husband Emily. I can't decide his fate be strong my love Dang, what is this music? It's so sad. <laughs> Without an end, there can be no peace. It gets no easier. Your struggles have only just begun. Flemeth! I thought that might interest you. You expect me to believe a myth swooped out of the wild to save the champion? Oh, come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite the tale of the Warden as well? No. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised to hear of her involvement. I liked my version better, too. What else aren't you telling me, then? Did she send someone with the champion? In a matter of speaking. So it's true. Continue. But if you tell me they all flew to Kirkwall on a dragon... Nothing so fanciful, I assure you. The witch kept her word and got them to Guaran, where they took ship. They sailed north across the waking sea, lashed by terrible storms. 
two weeks they spent in that dark hold, packed in with the fearful and the desperate. And then they saw it. Kirkwall, the city of chains. Long ago it was part of the Imperium, slaves coming from far and wide to work the quarries. Now, it's a free city, but I use the word loosely. Sail through those black cliffs and you'll see what the slaves of old saw. The gallows, welcoming you. That's where their ship landed, with all the rest. Yo, these statues are actually kind of neat and also really terrible. Like, oh, let's convert this into a port. Yeah, but let's keep the statues, you know? We're not taking those down. city what what that can't be it's true look at them all are we really surprised everyone's fleeing the blight just as we are and they would throw us all back to the wolves unbelievable okay but first let's check and make sure our party is okay so long as we're all safe that's more important we need to find Gamlin. Our family has always been highly regarded in Kirkwall. He can do something, I'm sure of it. Let's hope he received your letter. The guards seem to be reporting to that man. Perhaps we should speak to him. All right, so we finally made it to Kirkwall. It's, um... Interesting, yes. Interesting to say the least. They've all got these weird statues up, man. I'm just not having it. Not having a good time. But we made it. Unfortunately, we lost Bethany and Wesley along the way. But we've got to keep going. We've got to actually get into the city. And that's where we're stopping at today. So next time, we're going to find... Our uncle? Yeah, I guess we can say, yeah, we're gonna find our uncle, we're gonna see about getting into the city, and then maybe this will really kick into high gear. So, yeah. Until next time.